Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Coronia region, my Fakemon region based on Scotland. Today, I'm going to be doing a different kind of video. Every Pokemon has an ability, and has done since Gen 3. Some have more than one. Some have hidden abilities, and some have alternate forms with another ability on top of that. In this video, I'm going to discuss all of the unique abilities that I have created for Cronio. These first three are actually going to be hidden abilities of my starter trio. Well, the premium starter trio. I go over why I have two starter trios in other videos, just know that I have them and don't question it right now. Naturally, Buttercub, Azaleo, and Dandelion all have Overgrow, but their hidden ability is Hay Fever. If it makes contact with an opposing Pokemon, then the defense and special defense stats of the opposing Pokemon are lowered. Similarly, Flamu, Temaku, and Furnox have Blaze, but their hidden ability is Blacksmith. If a move makes contact with an opposing Pokemon, the Flamu line's defense and special defense raise. Quite similar to Hay Fever. Naval Spirit is also similar, which is the hidden ability of Platicroot, Platanant, and Pladmeral, who normally have Torrent. If the Platicroot line makes contact with its move, then its attack and special attack stats are raised. All of these would just be by one stage. Now time for that bootleg starter trio. Since all starters have either Overgrow, Blaze, or Torrent, abilities which make stab moves deal more damage when HP is low, similar to the ability Swarm, but for the bug type, I decided to make Fighting, Flying, and Rock type variants of it. Since Overgrow is for Grass, Blaze is for Fire, and Torrent is for Water. So Underdog is the Fighting type version of it, Updraft is the Flying type version of it, and Calcify is the rock type version of it. For their hidden abilities, I decided to give them different variants on Pixelate, or Galvanize, or Aerolate, which is the flying type version. What these abilities do is change the type of normal type moves to a different type. For example, Aerolate, which is Falcoff and Gallagrin's hidden ability, turns normal moves into flying. They also get an extra boost on top of that. So the fighting type version is Militarize, and the rock type version is Crystallize. Crystallize is also the hidden ability of Cronian Sylveon, which is also rock type. Speaking of clones of other abilities, I decided to make a new version of the ability Steelworker or Dragon's Maw. Steelworker essentially grants a Pokemon an extra 1.5 times bonus to a certain type. So essentially Delmize gets the same type attack bonus of Steel type moves, despite not being a Steel type, and Ready Drago gets an extra boost for dragon type moves, although now I've given that ability to Dracula up and Nosferbatu as well. I've made a ghost type version of that called Spectre, as there are plenty of non-ghost Pokemon that I have created, who I feel conceptually would benefit from having ghost type stab. Using that same logic, Shock Absorb is a fighting type version of Water Absorb or Volt Absorb. Since I noticed when I was creating Cronio, there are a few Pokemon with four times weaknesses to fighting, which I felt like shouldn't have it due to their concept. Golf Orb deserves to be rock normal, but being weak to fighting doesn't quite work. And Pucklet and Curl Ice definitely deserve to be ice rock, but all of these feel like they shouldn't have a four times weakness to fighting, so I gave them an immunity through their ability. It also gives a slight boost to their attack, kind of like how Water Absorb recovers HP. Time for a couple of clones of signature abilities. Let's start off with Holiday Gift. It's essentially a reskin of Cherim's ability, mainly because Holiday Gift is for Cronian Cherim. This time it raises the attack and special defense of ally Pokemon by 50% during snow instead of sun, as well as changing Cherim's form from its hibernation form into its holiday form. Its holiday form doesn't get a 50% raise, it gets a 100% raise, essentially turning this fairly weak and nothingy Pokemon into a formidable threat. Swarming is a clone ability of schooling, with a few tweaks. It is for my Pokemon Gigalidja, which has a solo form and a swarm form, like how Wishy Washy has a solo form and a school form. It changes Gigalidja into its swarm form if its HP is above 25%, 
and Giga Ligia is at least at level 25. If its HP falls below 25%, Giga Ligia will revert back to its solo form. Another signature ability I decided to make, which also has some festive theming, is Holiday Miracle, because it was already a Christmas miracle that Dally Bird was able to evolve into Boogie Bird. Not only does Boogie Bird have better stats, but its ability, Holiday Miracle, essentially inverts the Pokemon's personal type matchups, so any resistance becomes a weakness and and any weakness becomes a resistance. I've decided to keep immunities the same, and of course neutralities would also remain the same. It is similar to inverse battles introduced in Generation 6, but it is a little bit different. Now I am going to talk about an already existing signature ability, that of Cast Form, because I have changed how it operates a little bit. Yes, it changes Cast Form's type, its form, and the type of Weather Ball, dependent on the weather. However, now, Forecast keeps the weather up, even until after Cast Form faints. If a Pokémon with Forecast is out in the field, whatever current weather will have its timer pause, and then resume once a forecast Pokemon has left the battlefield. This means the weather can only change if someone else sets different weather. This was to make cast form a bit more viable. Cacophony, which is currently the signature ability of Cronian Preserker, is named after an unused ability from Gen 3. However, I've decided to give it a completely different purpose. All sound-based moves now do damage. They also essentially give a same type attack bonus to any move that already did damage. As for the ones that didn't already do damage, they now do physical or special damage depending on what deals more. Hydro Power is the signature ability of Hydro. People were confused as to why Tadsol, Turbit, and Hydroad were mono-electric when people thought they should be electric fire, electric flying, and electric water respectively, due to being based on solar power, wind power, and hydro power. But solar power and wind power are already abilities. Granted, wind power wasn't when I came up with this Pokemon of mine. I was going to make an ability called wind power anyways, but now I don't have to because wind power now exists. Hydro power, on the other hand, does doesn't and it makes it so that if a Pokémon with Hydro Power is hit by Water-type attacks, the Pokémon Special Attack is raised by a stage or two. I'm not 100% sure which would be more balanced. It was mainly because a commenter suggested that it could be raised by two stages. I don't know. Comment down below what you think. I hope referencing their themes through abilities as opposed to just types is more interesting. I hope it all makes sense now. Depressurize is the signature ability of Sojin, a Pokémon based on Iron Brew, which is a soda. It works similar to the likes of Aegislash's ability or Mimikyu's ability, arguably even Palafin's ability. When the health of Sojin's pressurized form goes below 50%, it transforms into its depressurized form, which is now a lot more offensive as opposed to just defensive. I've been speaking about signature abilities for a while now. Some of these could have wider use, and some could even be given to older Pokémon. I'm just saying all of these are signature abilities, only one of my Fakemon holds each of those abilities. However, let's get back to abilities held by multiple Fakemon lines. Night Shift is an ability held by Jacketerra, Cronian Noctowl, and is the hidden ability of Draculop and Nosferbatu. It doubles the Pokémon's attack or special attack during nighttime. Time. Which one it doubles is at random. There isn't a Pokemon ability that really deals with time of day or season, and I can see why considering online battles and competitive play makes it a bit of a logistical nightmare to try and consider these aspects. I've got a suggestion for a solution to that. Make all online battles and competitive battles auto set to nighttime so the ability does activate because it's going to be a bit random what happens anyway. Either that or a toggle. Exoskeleton is the ability of Coronian Durant, as well as my Absol evolution, Herosite. Due to its psychic armor, it's developed around itself. Exoskeleton might be the most broken ability I've come up with, because it halves all damage received by attacking moves. Secondary damage such as Burns or Recoil are the same, but essentially the type chart has been halved. This is because Grass Bug is not a good type combination. Neither is Dark Psychic. So I decided that both of these would deserve something to make it more defensively viable. This has inadvertently made Herosite really good, because it's now only weak to Bug. It already had an immunity, but now it also has 15 resistances. Let's just say it's more of an attacker than 
a defender, even though it has armor, to try and balance it out. Now time for another signature ability, which I'm only mentioning now because it's the signature ability of one of the forms of my pseudo-legendary, Serpadon. Serpadon has three separate forms, depending on how you evolve it. One that's Poison Electric, one that's Poison Steel, and one that's Poison Dragon. The Steel and the Dragon one have Iron Barbs and Rough Skin, respectively. But the Electric type one has a new ability called Thunderstorm. Essentially, it's just Drizzle, but it also summons Electric Terrain. And finally, the Box Art Legendary Trio has a shared ability, Gamble with Time. Essentially, they get really high evasiveness. However, any time they do get hit, it deals double the damage. With the only exceptions being secondary damage, they deal the normal amount of damage. This is because all three of the trio know exactly what your move is going to be, either because it knows you too well, in the case of Praetorate, the Emissary of the Past. It can see into the future, if it's Mebicordian, the Emissary of the Future, or is essentially omniscient in terms of everything that's going on, including what you're thinking, in the case of Orpetheagle. Regardless, it knows your attack, it is more likely to dodge it. However, they're still taking a gamble, since even though it's high reward, you can't have it without high risk. Hence, they are doing a gamble with time. And that's it for all of the abilities I've created. I might create some more with my mythical Pokemon, but I doubt it. I've not created my mythicals yet. I have my ideas for them, but I haven't thought up their abilities yet, so I assume I'm just going to use something canon. If you enjoyed this video, why not leave a like and subscribe to my channel? I'm hoping to get 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so it would really help if you subscribed. If you want to see more of my fake mon, why not watch the Chrono series playlist as well as check out my Instagram. There's also a link to my Discord and optionally my Patreon as well as YouTube memberships down below, as well as all the artists I've commissioned for the fake mon I showed in this video. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time.